Welcome to Science Easy Tech channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about central tendency measures. We all know that in central tendency measures, we have mean, median and mode. In our channel videos also, we have posted about mean for raw data as well as mean for grouped data. As a compilation video, I have given both mean for raw data as well as grouped data in this video. The reason for this is because in many times they have asked in 5 mark question as arithmetic mean or sometimes they have asked what and all comes under central tendency measures and explain any one in detail. So if they are going to ask if they are not mentioning and if they are going to ask explain any one in detail most of us used to write only mean because mean is very easy compared to other median and mode formulas. So, let's see if they are going to ask either in 5 mark or in essay question what we have to write for this central tendency measure mean. Before moving on to the topic, if you are new to Science Easy Tech channel, just take a moment to subscribe our channel and also to press the notification bell icon in order to get connected with our latest updates. Let's move on to the topic. As I have told earlier, we have posted many statistics and nursing research related videos in our channel playlist. You can watch our channel playlist which has been given in the description box as well as in the suggested end card and i card for more videos. So descriptive statistics under that you have central tendency measures. So the property of concentration of the value around a central value is known as central tendency measure. So when you are going to take about either arithmetic mean, median or mode. So the property of the concentration most of the values are concentrated around the central value that is known as central tendency the central value around which there is a concentration is called the measures of central tendency so this central value around which there is a concentration is called the measures of central tendency next we will see measures of central tendency as i have told earlier mean or arithmetic mean Median, mode, geometric mean and harmonic mean comes under measures of central tendency. Under this in BSc nursing level it is very useful for you to learn about arithmetic mean, median and mode whereas geometric mean and harmonic mean are also important but not in nursing point of view. So in nursing point of view what is more important arithmetic mean, median and mode. So in this video what I have told I, I am going to exclusively discuss with mean for grouped data and mean for ungrouped data or raw data so we are going to discuss about mean for ungrouped data which is otherwise called as raw data as well as mean for grouped data in mean for grouped data again we have discrete series and continuous series so let's see one by one in detail so first is arithmetic mean and its formula so the arithmetic mean of a set of value is obtained by dividing the sum of the values by the number of values in the set it is the average of the given value so how you can uh, determine arithmetic mean so you are going to add all the values what has been given for you in the data and you are give, going to divide it by the total number of uh, data set which is given so arithmetic mean is denoted by am or it is denoted by x bar x bar either it can be small x bar or capital x bar so let's see the formula for arithmetic mean of ungrouped data or raw data so here the mean is equal to x bar which is equal to sigma x or summation of x divided by n so here first we are seeing what mean formula for ungrouped or raw data mean is equal to x bar which is equal to summation of x or sigma x divided by n okay so how you will be finding this summation of x in the numerator you have to add all the values which have been given to you and you have to divide it by the total number of values which has been given in the data so let's see an example so here find the arithmetic mean of the following data 5 comma 8 comma 9 comma 11 comma 4 comma 3 comma 6 so here n how many values they have given yes they have given seven values so here in this they have given how many values one 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So the n is what? 
7 so they have given 7 values so what is the formula for mean mean x bar is equal to summation of x divided by 1 so how we have to find sigma x so you have to add all the values of uh, the given data 5 plus 8 plus 9 plus 11 plus 4 plus 3 plus 6 divided by how, what is n n is 7 values they have given divided by 7 so 46 divided by 7 which is equal to 6 point 571 so you have rounded off to 6.57 so your x bar is how much 6.57 so the given data is either you can tell it as raw data or you can tell it as ungrouped data next we will see um, arithmetic mean for grouped data so in grouped data already i have told what you are having you are having continuous series and discrete series first we will see mean for group data in con discrete data okay so first the formula is same for both discrete data and continuous data x bar is equal to sigma fx divided by sigma f x bar is equal to sigma fx divided by sigma f or you can tell sigma fx divided by capital n okay so the formula is sigma fx divided by sigma f or you can tell sigma fx divided by capital n so this is not only for discrete data even for continuous data also the formula is same next we will see mean for group data in discrete series an example find the mean of the following data the marks this is discrete series this is an example for discrete series marks obtained number of students so here this marks obtained is your x value number of students is your f value marks obtained is your x value number of students is your f value so 4 8 12 16 20 are the marks obtained and the number of students so 4 marks has been obtained by 6 students 8 marks has been obtained by 12 students 12 marks has been obtained by 18 students and 16 marks has been obtained by 15 students and 20 marks has been obtained by 9 students okay so next what we can we have to do we have to put the uh, tabular column okay so next we will see the next line so x values and all you have to write in the x column and f values that is number of students and all you have to write in the f column so then what you have to do so you have to what is the formula x bar is equal to sigma fx divided by capital n so sigma fx how you have to do you have to multiply x values with f 4 into 6 is equal to 24 8 into 12 is equal to 96 then 12 into 18 is equal to 216 then 16 into 15 is equal to 240 then 20 into 9 is equal to 180 so multiply everything so that you will get fx values for each thing then what you have to do add all the fx values 24 plus 96 plus 216 plus 240 plus 180 which is equal to how much 756 then what you have to do x substitute in the formula x bar is equal to sigma fx divided by n what is n add all the f values 6 plus 12 plus 18 plus 15 plus 9 which is equal to 60 okay so now what you have to do you have to uh, divide 756 divided by 60 which is equal to 12.6 which is equal to 12.6 so next we will see the arithmetic mean for continuous data so the marks 0 to 10 10 to 20 20 to 30 30 to 40 40 to 50 number of students 0 to 10 number of students is 5 10 to 20 number of students is 10 20 to 30 number of students is 24 30 to 40 number of students is 15 then um, 40 to 50 number of students is 6 so here marks is the x value number of students number of students means frequency frequency f okay number of students is your frequency then moving on to the tabular column so first you have to write marks 0 to 10 then uh, 
10 to 20, 20 to 30, 30 to 40, 40 to 50. So here you cannot consider 0 to 10 as the x value. The midpoint, the midpoint you have to consider. So what is the midpoint for 0 to 10, 5, 10 to 20, 15. Okay, the middlemost value 20 to 30, 25, 30 to 40, 35, 40 to 50, 45. So in each thing you have to take what you have to take the mid value. So once the mid value you have taken that becomes your X. Okay, that becomes your X. So next to what you have to do, you have to write the F value. So F values what for each thing you have got no. So that 20 F values. 5, 10, 24, 15, 6. So you can, F value you will be getting from the tabular column itself. So X value also. So this class interval, from the class interval, the mid value for 0 to 10, the mid value is 5. For uh, 10 to 20, the mid value is 15. And for 20 to 30, the mid value is 25. And 30 to 40, the mid value is 35. And 40 to 50, the mid value is 45. So, the, these are your x values. Next, what you have to do? You have to multiply x and f. Um, f. So, you will be getting what fx? 5 into 5, 25. 15 into 10, um, 150. 25 into 24, 600. 35 into 15, 525. 45 into 6, 270. So, multiply it. After what you have to do? You have to add... Uh, yeah, all the fx values 25 plus 150 plus 600 plus 525 plus 270 gives 1570. Then how you will be finding out and add all the f values 5 plus 10 plus 24 plus 15 plus 6 which is equal to 60. Then as usual what you have to do you have to substitute in the formula. What is the formula for x bar? x bar arithmetic mean is equal to sigma fx divided by sigma n. So then you have to substitute. So you know what is uh, sigma fx? Yes, 1570. What is uh, n? It is 60. So substitute in the formula 1570 divided by 60. So the answer is 26.167. So x bar is equal to 26 point. You can round it off to 17. 26.17. So, suppose if they are going to ask in 5 marks or 9 marks, uh, or that is essay question, you can write this answer. So, for, uh, under uh, mean, central tendency measures, you have so many measures listed out. What are they? Mean, median, mode. Then what you have to do? You have to write about what is arithmetic mean? What is the formula for arithmetic mean in ungrouped data or raw data? And the formula for arithmetic mean in grouped data that is in discrete series and continuous series. Then give some easy examples. Whatever, whichever is easy to calculate, you can give. If possible, you can, uh, you can jot uh, that example also. You can work it out also. Okay, hope this video has given a clear uh, idea for you. So, this is a compilation video. The separate videos have already we have discussed in our channel playlist. Uh, you can go and watch it. So, this uh, as a compilation video I am giving because in, sometimes in exams they are asking a uh, list about central tendency measure and explain any one measure in detail. So, for that purpose only I have compiled it and I have given it. Uh, in one video so that uh, when you are reading you will be have you will not be having any confusion thank you friends um, hope this video is clear for you all if you like my video please give a thumbs up share and subscribe to science easy tech channel as i have told earlier my previous videos link i have given in description box suggested end card and i card or you can watch our channel playlist for more videos thank you friends